it's time for the Euros. Euro 2024 is almost here, which means moi is going to sit and predict for you who's going to win this competition. Stay tuned. I'm Scott Review Things. <laughs> Scott reviews things, football content, it's what people want, it's what they like. So here I am to furnish you with my thoughts. England are going to win it. No, they're not. It's coming home, no, it's not. <laughs> Who knows? Best team, are we? Going to find out. What we're going to do, we're going to do a prediction. We've got a predictor, found a predictor online, and we're going to sit. And we're going to predict and tell you who I think is going to win this competition. We'll go through the groups, um, not game by game, just um, group by group. And who's going to win, who's going to come top, a little bit of information about the teams. And we'll go from there. And at the end of it, we're all going to find out what a clever guy Scott is. So, here we go. Let's do the screen record on this thing. So, in Group A... Obviously, this is going to be held in Holland. No, it's not. It's going to be held in Germany. <laughs> Cut that. Held in Germany, 2024. The European Championships. So, in Group A, we've got Germany, who are 16th in the world. Not the greatest German team that we've seen. Uh, they've won three of the last six, drawn two and... Sorry, lost two and drawn one. Scotland, 39th in the world. They, they're not in the greatest form either. They've only won uh, once in their last six. Hungary are the 26th in the world. They've won four of their last six. They're in pretty decent form. And Switzerland, Switzerland, 19th in the world. They've won two of their last six, having drawn two and lost one. Winner of the group. You can't bet against Germany, can you? They're the host nation. So you'd like to think they're at least going to get through the group stages. So let's... Just go straight in Germany. They're going to qualify. Runner up. Who's going to come runner up? You've got Switzerland are in pretty decent form. Hungary aren't in bad form. Scotland are in absolutely shocking form. Um, but no prejudices here as an Englishman, proud Englishman. I'm going to put Scotland in second place because I can. And I just have provable wherever, wherever I show it. Switzerland to come in third, which then automatically heaves off Hungary to the unknown unknown regions. We're off to Group B, and I think four of the top six ranked third place teams progress and play. All becomes clear. Group B, we've got Spain, currently ranked eighth in the world. Not the greatest Spanish team that we've seen either, but they're in pretty decent form. They've won four of their last six, only losing one and drawing one. Croatia, 10th ten, uh, in the world. This group, this group of death, so you've got the 8th, 9th and 10th um, ranked teams in the world. So Croatia 10th, they're in pretty decent form. They've only drawn one of the last six and they've won the lot of the others. Italy, they're on a bit of a sticky wicket. Um, ninth of the world, one for drawn to not the best Italian team that we've ever seen. And we've got Albania, rank outsiders in this group. Uh, one, two, drawn to lost two of the last six. Um, this one's pretty difficult, actually. If the Spanish team turn up, you see them winning this group. Croatia are always hard to, um, hard to play against and hard to beat. Italy, reigning champions, always hard to beat. Um... I don't think Italy are the greatest team. I think they're struggling defensively. Let's go for Spain top then. Um, I fancy Croatia to do quite well. I know it's a slightly ageing team, but they're a good team. I'm going to put uh, Croatia in second. I'm going to stick Italy in third. Um, that makes up my Group B with sadly the old bait. But there's always there's always um, a shock in one of the groups, isn't there? Could Albania be that shock? Could Germany not getting out of Group A be that shock? I don't know. Interesting. Interesting thoughts. Group C, we've got Slovenia. They were 57th in the world. 
and they've got three wins out of the last six with two draws and a loss. You've got Denmark, who are 21st in the world, always difficult to beat Denmark, obviously past um, winners of this competition, pretty decent form, 1-4. Drawn one and lost one of the last six games. Serbia, 33rd in the world. They've won two, drawn uh, three and lost one. And then we've got the mighty England, the favourites to win this competition in absolute mediocre form. Fourth in the world, drawn two, lost two, won two in, the, um, in their last six matches. So this is a very difficult group to predict. England top. Um... Nine points, run away with this uh, with this uh, group. That's them out of that. I reckon Denmark will come in second, and then it's a toss up between Slovenia and Serbia. I'm going to go with. I'm going with Serbia. Let's go with Serbia. Slovenia, very sorry, um, you got name. Group D, we got the Netherlands. Historically, a fantastic country to watch for, play football. Uh, don't think it's their best team, but all, always nice to watch um, the Netherlands. So they're seventh in the world in really good form. Won five of the last six, only losing the one game. Austria, 25th in the world, also in really good form. Drawn one and won five of their last six games. And France, France of France, second, second favourites to win this competition, ridiculously. Uh, three wins, two draws and a loss in the, the last six games. So Poland, probably the rank outsiders, I would think, for this this group. Uh, one three, uh, sorry, one four to a disservice, Poland. And lost, uh, sorry, drawn two of the last six games. We can't back, not back France to top this group. England are going to get nine points, so are France. Then we've got either the Netherlands, Poland, or Austria. I fancy the Netherlands to pick up and sort of motor through this group. Probably not going to get, they'll probably get six points out of this, I would think. Um, I think they'll lose to uh, France, but I think they'll comfortably come through it. And then I think Austria are left too much for Poland. So France, Netherlands, and Austria come through Group D for me. Then we're into Group E. We've got Belgium, who was flat as deceiving in these competitions, but have a really good team. Slightly aging team, though. Like Belgium are currently third in the world, so above England, and they're in pretty decent form. They've won four and a lot, uh, drawn two of their last six games. You've got Slovakia, 48th in the world. Won four, drawn one, and lost one. Romania, 46th in the world. Drawn three, won two, and lost one. So they're not in the greatest form, but they're not terrible. And then you've got the Ukraine, a 1-3, drawn two and lost one, and they're 22nd in the world. Um, I don't think you back against Belgium. If Belgium turn up, and I think if they start okay, I think they win this group. I think the Ukraine will do very well. Let's put the Ukraine through. And then we're into we're a bit of a toss-up between Romania and Slovakia. Let's go with... Let's go with Romania to go through. Unfortunately, sending the Slovakians home. So my teams qualifying for Group E are Belgium, Ukraine and Romania. On to Group F. And we've got Portugal. The sixth in the world. Oh, it's a decent team to watch as well. And they club, uh, a um, country to watch. They're in really good form. Well, they were until recently. So they've won four and lost two of the last six. Uh, you've got... Uh, the Czech Republic are 36th in the world. Uh, they've won five and drawn one, so they're in pretty decent form. You've got Georgia, who are 75th in the world. Who, uh, they've got three wins, two draws, and a loss in their last six games. And then you've got Turkey, who are 40th in the world, drawn two, lost two, uh, lost three, and won one. So they're in terrible form, the Turks, at the moment. So I don't think you bet against Portugal not getting through this group. Um, I think the Czechs have got too much for the other two teams. And then it's a flip, really. Um, I think Georgia are on rank outsiders, aren't they? Turkey are on a really bad, really bad. Let's go for let's go for Georgia. 
let's be bold, Georgia qualify. Yeah, they're in third place. They might not necessarily qualify. So that populates. Let's go to proceed to the round of 16. Choose four best third place teams. Which four teams are going to do the best in their group competitions? We can't bet back against Italy. Um, I reckon Switzerland will do all right. I think it's just going to be those top four, Serbia and Austria. So that populates the round of 16. So we've got the big clashes are Germany versus Denmark. Should be a good game. Scotland versus Croatia. Spain versus Switzerland. England versus Austria. Portugal versus Serbia, the Netherlands versus Ukraine, Belgium versus Italy, and France versus the Czechs. Right, so choose your winning team. Well, Germany versus Denmark. I think that's a tough game. I really do. Denmark aren't there? No pushovers. They could they could make a really tough game for Germany. Do you bet against Germany on home soil? Not a fucking chance. Scotland versus Croatia. Um. Croatia, what run are they on? Uh, they're 10th of the world on a really good run. Uh, one draw out of the last six games. Won all the rest of them. And you've got Scotland in horrendous form. Um, I'm going for Scotland. Mark my words. I just want to, wouldn't it be nice for, this, for, for Scotland to do well? That's all I'll say. Spain versus Switzerland. Switzerland could make that a really tough game for Spain. Um, but can't see Spain losing that. So let's go for that. England all day long. We're winning this competition. Portugal versus Serbia. That's another really tough game, but you can't back against the Portuguese. They're always really, really up for this sort of shit. Um, Netherlands versus the Ukraine. I'm going to go for an upset there. I'm going to go for the Ukraine to win that. Belgium versus Italy. Tie of the round, this one for me. This could be incredible. I'm going to go for the Belgians. I'm going to go for the Belgians to knock out the reigning champions. I think... Um, Heard it here first. Unless somebody else has done something like this. I don't fucking know. And then you've got France versus the Czechs. You can't bet against the French. And we're on to the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals are Spain versus Germany. I'm <laughs> just in the bottom one. Cracking match. Portugal versus the Ukraine. Cracking match. Belgium versus France. And then the old rivals in the quarterfinals. England versus Scotland. <laughs> Who knew it? So we've got Spain versus Germany. Ah, oh, that's a toughie, isn't it? That's a toughie to predict. Do, again, do you bet against the Germans on home soil? What, what Spain are in really decent form. The Germans are in okay form. Let's, let's go for Germany. My mum was German. Uh, Portugal versus the Ukraine. That's another really good game. A really good game of football. Um... Portugal, if they're on it, they're going to be really hard to beat. The Ukraine, they're an okay run of form. I'm going to go for Portugal on that one. Belgium versus France, that is a cracker. That's the top. I don't know, they're all good games, aren't they? <laughs> Belgium versus France. Do you bet against France? No, not for me. And England will slaughter the, uh, the jocks. So, semi-finals of Euro 2024, we've got Germany versus Portugal and France versus England. Germany versus Portugal could be an absolute blinder of a match. Um, again, Germans on home soil, Portugal, I don't know if now does still in the team, is he? Um, let's go for the Germans. And France versus England, I think this is where England fall. I think England fall here. Um, I think France will have too much for England. So, yeah, England win that. And then, dream of dreams. Absolute rivalry of rivalries. Germany versus England in the European Cup final. And England win. Every day of the week, England win this. Absolutely piss it. Tongue-in-cheek. But... Yeah, that's who and how I predict this is going to go. This is all for, for everybody to see. I'm predicting England beat Germany in the Euro 2024 final. What do you think? How do you think England are going to get on? Can they win it? 
is it possible? Is Gareth Southgate the man to win this competition? No, he fucking isn't. Um, but yeah, that's Scott's review things prediction for Euro 2024. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go on to BEIN.com. Do your own. Let me know how you get on. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. Come on, England. See you soon.